if these stick figures were to represent people, who are they attracted to? Or in the case of the child, who will uh, the child be attracted to after puberty? Uh, what gender will they identify with? Well, these can be complex questions, at least biologically, since uh, there is chromosomal gender, there is gonadal gender, there is somatic gender, there can be brain and behavioral gender, and these do not have to agree in all cases. Many biological traits are classified as multifactorial, being determined by genes, uh, the environment, levels of hormones, epigenetic changes, experiences, and how all of these interact. It would certainly not be surprising if there were biological factors involved in human attraction and gender identity, given the diverse animal studies, particularly those of mammals, where we know of all of the effects of hormones and their receptors on the development of the brain, and observations in animals, including our closest relatives, chimpanzees, like the bonobo chimpanzees pictured here, uh, where relationships which would not be defined as heterosexual are so common. In the human genome, are there genes which seem to be factors in determining attraction or may have roles in gender dysphoria, the discomfort or distress one might feel um, in associating with a gender identity which is not entirely consistent with one's physical attributes or uh, the gender assigned at birth. The answer to that is yes, there are a number of genes where in studies, if one asks, say, is this form of the gene, is this polymorphism, is this repeat of nucleotides, is this mutation more uh, frequently associated with uh, individuals with this type of attraction or uh, who report gender dysphoria than uh, would otherwise be uh, found by chance? The answer is yes. Some of the genes involved have functions in the pathways which synthesize steroids, such as estrogen and testosterone. As you can see here, the synthesis of estrogen or testosterone is not a one-step process. Instead, a series of enzymes act on cholesterol, making a number of intermediates to produce testosterone, and from testosterone, estrogen is produced. There are other steroids, which can be estrogenic or androgenic, such as many produced by the adrenal glands. And testosterone needs to be converted into one of two active forms, either dihydrotestosterone or estrogen. And mutations or alternate alleles uh, of some of these uh, genes for enzymes involved in steroid pathways have been associated uh, with gender and differences in attraction. To be clear, both men and women make both estrogen, the major one being estradiol, and testosterone and other adrenal androgens. So these hormones have roles in both males and females and they require receptors. So just like you might not perceive smoke in the hallway unless you had a smoke detector, a cell would not know that estrogen or testosterone was present without an estrogen or testosterone receptor. These receptors bind estrogen and testosterone within the cell and then migrate to the nucleus where they attach to DNA and turn on genes. This would include the genes in brain cells in a developing brain or an individual undergoing puberty. Here they affect gene expression, not whether a gene is present or not, but how active it is. So uh, these hormones with their receptors turn on genes. A variant receptor or a receptor which does not function would then affect a cell's ability to respond to estrogen or testosterone even if it was present. Interestingly, there have been studies which show a correlation between which versions of, say, estrogen receptor alpha and estrogen receptor beta one has. It's not only the copies of the gene, but the interaction of these two different genes, or of the androgen receptor and an estrogen receptor. At least two of the genes affect the hormones produced in the adrenal glands. 
So while this study is in its infancy, and undoubtedly more genes will be elucidated in the future, there are already multiple genes which have been identified which have a role in biological attraction and in gender identity.